All right, so it's long overdue. I gotta get to work on this tank and stein. Get the track box back on it at least. I'm gonna take the hub off here in a second, and uh, we're gonna see how this adjuster works. Um, I kind of have an idea, but I want to check, make sure the brakes are all right. All right, so I have an idea how it works. I just need to uh, make sure. You see this right here? Just turn it one way or the other, and it, there's a, a cam in there. It adjusts the friggin' slack in the shoes if it hasn't wrecked the shoes already. Um, you can see the wheel cylinder is crooked down there for some reason. This was mechanical brakes to start with. They converted it over to hydraulic brakes. Now these rear ends of these Bren guns are the same as some of the military vehicles of that era. They just use the pieces from one to next. Um, you can tell this hasn't been replaced with a truck rear end because it doesn't have the brackets for the leaf springs on it. There's no signs of it so that's a good indication if you have one that the, it's come out of a truck because it's quite common. Now it has some welds on here. I'm not exactly sure what the hell that was for. But anyway, so if you got one of these that is in the woods and you want to take it out of there and there's my buddy Tom and uh, it's stuck in the woods and the transmission seized up the best way to deal with it is take the axle out because you will not pull it if that tranny is stuck or you could wreck it anyway let's get to it all right okay so how do you move four three or four hundred pounds of track by yourself just what I did here I rolled it up and tied it onto itself and you don't want to get beside it because this will hurt if it falls on you There we go, just like that. All right, so be very careful when you're taking these off. Um, like some of the older cars, it could be left hand or right hand on each side. Like some of the older cars, the, uh, I can't remember which way it went. Some of the wheel nuts were right hand, some were left hand, depending on what side of the car you are. You can actually see the pitch of the threads here as uh, it being normal. So go ahead and take all these off counterclockwise. Now you can see, now you can see these have a tapered lock washer type of deal. There's a lock washer here on the outside, and then they get this tapered deal in there. Make sure you don't lose these. You have to put these back in. So we're gonna have to extract them all. Might even want to put some of your lug nuts back on here, and give that a wrap with a hammer. It'll knock all these loose so they don't fly all over the place. Looks like there's one missing there. Oh, I got it up there. find a hammer okay what I'm gonna do here is wrap the side of it here I'm gonna to try to knock these washers out I want them to come out I don't want to lose any of them. didn't want the axle to come out first so here now you get them all out like that take them all and put them in a special place and if you get kids like me around then you better hide them <laughs> That one's stubborn. Put my thumb on that one. That's the last one I got there. That's being stubborn. Well, that's two. That one's being stubborn. Now at this point you should have a bucket under here. You might lose some fluid. And it looks like someone's already been in here a few times and uh, didn't have the proper socket, but we're going to have to do the same thing. So, pull the axle out. I don't want to see any rust on it. Looks in pretty good shape. Alright, so if you don't have a big socket like this, like the last person went in here, and like me, I'm just going to check. Okay, see, there is a lock key right in here. I believe that has come out before you can turn this washer off, this uh, nut off there. So we're going to get something to clean that up first and see what I can see. And they usually use a magnet and pull it out, but this could be stubborn. You might have to rock this back and forth a little to get it to come out. 
We'll see. Hang on. Okay, so I've went in here with a nail. It doesn't seem like this lock ring here, this nut holds anything. It should. Maybe it's just missing. And maybe it's not out all the way. Uh, it looks like it's in all the way. All right, so we're going to get a big chisel and knock this off. See what happens. I have a big uh, brass punch. This one's kind of dangerous. As you can see, it's flaking on. Make sure you got eye goggles on. Okay, now it'll be pretty obvious what side is the outside because that one's all scurred up. That's flat. All right, there's the lock washer or the lock ring. This one's a little bit different setup than I'm used to on the newer stuff. You can see that that sits in there. I'm not quite sure how that locks it onto that nut. Why it won't fly off? But anyway, now I can see. Uh, screw holes here this might have been cobbled at one time see these screw holes here there should be corresponding holes in here that you screw it down into but I don't see it I think this thing's been hacked up a little bit okay I see those holes could line up with that but I don't see how that locks this is the first time having one of these apart there's the axle seal I believe this is set up a little different she's old it looks like a seal of type, some type. I'm probably going to find another washer behind it. Yep. Yeah. This thing's been apart before. It's an awful lot of fresh grease in here. And that, let's get rid of this crap. Well, that's a good sign if it's been a, like this. No. Oh, that one doesn't have a lock in it either. Must have just been that washer. All right, so we need to knock that one out the same way. I'm going to have to get a different, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. i got to get a screwdriver or punch. All right, let's do what they did. Now, I should be able to, <laughs> it should be able to spin it. For some reason, it won't. That might not be a good sign. This thing should turn easily. No, oh, it doesn't. Anyway, let's get that off. All right, we got her all the way here. Be a lot easier with the proper socket. But you can see over the years, someone's already been in there. I don't know where. Could have been from World War II, could have been from someone working on it. But this hub shouldn't be that tight. That's all I got to say. Alright, so this is the adjuster I was showing you earlier. This thing turns if it's not seized in here. And there's probably a cam inside of here and two pins riding on it. When you turn here, it forces the pins outwards like this. So we're going to have to get a wrench and then see if this will turn. I have a feeling that it's either just got air or 
this thing's out of adjustment because I could hear it working in there. It's got brand new shoes on it. So that's good. And it doesn't look like it's been in the mud since they fixed it. So next thing is we'll get a wrench here and see if we can move this at all. All right, we're going to get back at her. It's now Thursday night uh, after work. That's actually after supper now, but anyway, time to get to take care of the kids and that. Um, now, can any of you see anything wrong with this picture? I knocked the hob off because I didn't want to leave it like that. And it's a good thing I did because I didn't. I neglected to check the wheel cylinder. Now, if you look close, you can see the wheel cylinder has come out and it's popped the the piston, uh, the thing that hooks on the shoe off. You can see the seal right here. I'm going to knock the wheel cylinder out this. Um, if you look down here, you can see a spot for a pin. It should have hold down springs in here. It doesn't. That's not helping matters. So it what it is brand new shoes, and you can see I think you can make out what the way the cam works and the adjuster in there, crazy dog. And you can even see that, that is not in place. Should be up in here somehow. So and same with that one. Not sure what they've done here. Kind of looks like that's supposed to be in there. Anyway, so I'm going to knock the wheel cylinder off. Um, I'm going to try to rebuild it at work because I'm not sure if I can get these in here. I probably can buy them, but I'm not sure where. I'm going to try to put it back together first. Uh, clean her all up. Hopefully I'll have some good luck. Anyway, a little update with the car. I got the transmission out. It's off getting rebuilt. Um, I didn't put a high stall torque converter because I want to drive it on the road. So Anyway, just short update what's going on. You see my expensive Princess Auto Jacks, uh, a couple days sitting outside like that, They're rusting. <laughs> anyway, working out of there is not a not a very fun thing to do. But anyway, we're gonna get back at her. Uh, I'm not sure gonna make the Shannonville drags or not. Uh, if I get it back next Wednesday, I'm not sure on the date what that is. Um, um, let's see. I know Friday night, not this Friday night, next Friday night course I'm not sure when you guys are watching this video but anyway I think I'm gonna miss it but we'll be there with the the car from work we're building or not me anyway but uh, the young lad and the boss anyway they want to race it so we might show up to do that and film it anyway so um, I'm gonna knock that wheel cylinder off I'm probably not gonna show rebuilding it because uh, it's kind of boring but anyway anyway guys there's a short update what's going on this week hopefully I'll get that wheel cylinder back and we'll put that all back together and put the track back on I'll do a video of that so um, just hang in there. Things were busy. I took the transmission out of the car. I should have filmed it, but I didn't. I was just in one of those moods. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Talk to you later.